This is my first installment in a series of videos I will be doing about brokerages, specifically private uh, local brokerages. Now, when it becomes widely known that the current system, the current banking system, is committing fraud by creating debt between two producers and then fraudulently collecting interest on this debt between two producers, creating the illusion that the borrower is in debt to the bank. Uh, everybody that's involved in this right now, once their names are published, they're going to have to go into hiding. Uh, there's no way that uh, they can take advantage of the new system of private local brokerages because they'll be gone. They'll be in exile. They'll have to be protected. Okay? People will be hunting them down. Okay? So, the people that are currently in the power elite are not going to be there anymore. Okay? So, uh, yeah, once our public currency is issued directly to us as we enter the market, um, and we have a uh, booming economy with full employment constantly, n nobody even has to go to a brokerage for anything. The, the brokerage is only there to pool resources to fund large projects, business endeavors, construction projects. Okay? No, nobody has to use a brokerage at all. Uh, and and your, broker, your broker would handle your checking account if you want a checking account, but you could just use a physical paper bill currency forever if you want. So we often hear the term full reserve bank or uh, banks should only lend out what they have on reserve. Uh, now it's imperative that we refer to this as a broker because that's what it is. The depositors, uh, if they want their money to grow, they have to invest their money. They are risking their money. Okay. The only way the current bank model works is if the bank has the ability to uh, create money fraudulently. And the only way for anybody with a savings account uh, to grow their money in a savings account is to get a cut of the fraudulently gained new money. Uh, the banker ripping off the borrower, charging interest on debt that is not with the banker but with other producers, and then giving the, the savers a cut. So with your brokerage, you of course would have a checking account, and then if you want your money to grow, you have to invest it. The term bank should only be used in reference to a guarded storage unit. Uh, what, it, what a bank is now is nothing more than a glorified parasitic bookkeeper. Uh, granted, star, storing uh, a relatively small amount of Federal Reserve notes and coin but um, in the future uh, a bank should only be a place that stores something safe deposit boxes and such for a fee and that would be their only function so I want to emphasize when a bank facilitates a loan between two producers uh, 
say for a house and one producer exchanges the house to another producer and <coughs> the borrower's account is debited, the producer's account is credited. No uh, new money has been created. This is a legitimate debt, this is legitimate money. And then fraudulent money is then created as the banker debits the produce the borrower's account with interest crediting his own account when he didn't loan anybody anything okay and he gives the savers in his bank those with savings account a, a small portion of this fraudulent gained new money the only fair way for a currency to come into circulation is for a public bookkeeper to find well first determine the amount of currency per person that needs to be in circulation to bring the economy to uh, full velocity full employment and then start issuing uh, or find people that aren't in debt already whether it be on the negative or the positive side and uh, start issuing currency to people uh, in the amount that is determined uh, needs to be generally in circulation per person uh, as old debt is extinguished thus maintaining a consistent cash supply of course we want to increase the cash supply a certain amount uh, thus repairing the economy from what it is now um, but the, the only alternative is to have the public bookkeeper maybe somehow de determine uh, uh, like in the case of a lot of community currencies currently uh, the, the issuer of the currency is making a judgment call this person can be issued this much currency and then this person can be issued this much currency or a firm of people can be issued a, a lot of currency which does it doesn't make sense to issue currency to anybody other than an actual person okay an actual person has to re be responsible for all debt that is out there in circulation um, so yeah and, and, and in the case of uh, mathematically perfected economy uh, that's an example of uh, a system that will never get off the ground because it involves having something called the foundry determine who is going to be in public currency debt and of course uh, uh, who decides who's in the foundry obviously the foundry would be an elected uh, body um, and, which is essentially the government and of course MPE followers uh, insist that the foundry would have nothing to do with the government it, it just doesn't make any sense um, so the, the debt the public debt has to be spread out among the population as evenly as possible in order to be fair uh, and that would be uh, the debt on the negative side of course there, there can be uh, lots of people on the negative side all the time young people just entering the market and then few people on the positive side real you know but of course unless this cash is invested it, it's just it sitting there in a checking account or uh, under a mattress or 
in somebody's pocket, not doing anything. So that that really doesn't benefit anybody other than having the security of uh, liquidity.